Fessa 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 Aye, what's up? Home music Fessa Let's see y'all them show me some tricks, man G6 Fessa Fessa do, Fessa do, Fessa Mm-hmm, she from the end to quit Make your bum, make your bum, bum to that I'm sorry the live, the first live episode mm. of Talk To Him, all right? Let me explain to you what Talk To Him is really all about. Talk To Him is a weekly show where we discuss self-help strategies, pop culture, music, education, fashion, relationships, and how it all links to financial success. Make sure you follow us, all right? on Instagram at talk to him J and then also shop talk to him right um, of course I'm your host my name is James Levesque and talk to him let's vibe with me all right all right we have a special guest in the studio with us today all right you're welcome um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know we got Dr. Angie, the lovely, the beautiful, the highly talented. Um, Dr. Angie's Hello. with us today. She's been killing the medical field. You know Thank what I mean? You. you already know, man. I give you props. I you do other me? things too. No, nah, you, you you definitely do. You know what I mean? You are. Uh, I want to say Jack. I don't know why I rolled my eyes, y'all. I don't know why people. Now people are probably going to think something else when I said that. That's crazy. I ain't even go live yet. No. Hold on a second. Let me go live in here. Let people know. All right. Like we out here. Hold on a second. Should I just stop this? No, nah, keep it rolling. Alright, so um on today's show, right, on on our first live recorded episode, right, I wanted to have you on there because I just love the way that you think and the way you you know that how you ex assess certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's really from a, a, it's like a developed mi male mindset, I would say. You know what I mean? A developed male mindset. You might want to turn that down a little that's bit. That's not me. No, well, that might be me. Yeah. No, that's you. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So, um, on this show, this is all about how every decision that we make leads towards financial success mm -hmm. or financial failure. All right, so today's title I like to I like to call it how to have a successful relationship in 2022. Mm. You know how are we gonna have a successful relationship in 2022? Um, we'll just say you know we have a lot of different relationships, but for the show we're talking about you know a romantic relationship. You know what I mean? Not between us. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe. You know what I mean? Would you like to for me to take you out sometime? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, no. But let's say, you know, how is it? Because a lot of times, who we have in it, in our immediate circle, right, mm -hmm. definitely could lead towards financial success mm -hmm. or financial failure. You know. So I wanted to really talk about that because, you know, we're all about succeeding in 2022. We're all about getting to the next level and we got to make sure we know who we have around us. That person that we have around us is our biggest cheerleader. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just like we're their biggest cheerleader as well, too. You get what I'm saying? I feel you. So let me ask you this. How do you think we keep a relationship strong? I think that strong is really like within yourself mm. you know so in order to keep that relationship strong i feel like you need to be secure within you yeah and strong and strong and no I, I agree you know what i mean you know? because that is that is really like the first relationship that you're gonna have yeah is the relationship with yourself and if you're not happy like why would you bring happiness to anybody else mm, i agree with that if you're not happy within yourself, mm -hmm. you know, I agree. I definitely agree. Do you find yourself happy? Yo, I, generally, like, I'm a, I'm like a loner. You know what I mean? I, I like a loner. I mean, I, I know a lot of people, you know, but 
I like I really enjoy being by myself because that's where I do most of my thinking. I'm able to really just be me, you know what I'm saying? Really get to know myself, you know what I mean? Because you know, do you know like a lot of people can't be by themselves? Mm, I know. You know what I mean? Like, yo, dudes like can't can't really like I know certain people who just can't be they always gotta have somebody around them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like or they just can't, you know, maneuver around by themselves. Yeah. You know, I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm real comfortable with yeah, myself like that. You know what I mean? And I like chilling with myself. Me too. You know? So if you're just joining us, all right, if you're just joining us, today's topic that we're talking about on our first live show, right, of 2022, we're talking about how to have a successful relationship in 2022, all right? And we have the lovely, the beautiful Dr. Ange in the house with us. Yo, I seen I seen you in the mountains on your on your Instagram. Yeah. You was, y'all was starting, it was y'all. Just a little something. Shout out to my girls. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was studying all well, we this. were. We were doing a little something. Yeah. You know? Uh, that's dope. But it's just like, you got to keep that bond with your friends. And especially your girlfriends, yeah. if you're a girl. Yeah. You know? Not not for you, but, you know, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think something that I, I try to emphasize on, and this is why we do this every year, yeah. is... Focusing on like appreciating your friends like tell them that you appreciate them show them that you care for them and in those Trips, that's what we like to do. Yeah, you know, just like appreciate each other. No, that was fly I really like and that. manifest we actually called our trip yeah. Manifestation 2022 really yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Listen, man I think you're like a good a good role model. I would say for, for like you know, for women, you know what I mean? Like, you're like a pretty good role model because, you know, I would think if I was a girl, I'd want to be your friend, you know what I mean? Because you get gifts, you know what I mean? You plan trips, you know, and you support, you know what I mean? You really do. You really do support. So, this is all about, honestly, this is all about I'm a good girlfriend, too. You are a good girlfriend. How do you do I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I asked your man, he was like, yo, yo, Angie's (laughs) <laughs> you know, Angie, Angie's good people, you know what I mean? Um, so, all we're talking about today is how to have a successful relationship in 2022, you know what I mean? Because the people that we have around us, you know what I mean, is actually going to bring us towards, you know, um, success or failure, you know what I mean? Like, you was talking about you planning, you know, uh, a trip, you know, a weekend trip with your girls, which I thought was fly. You know what I'm saying? But then also, in a romantic, um, if you're dealing with somebody romantically, you know, how would you describe a successful relationship romantically? I feel like a successful, really, I mean, define successful. The successful is like y'all able to get along. You know what I mean? Y'all rock out. You know what I mean? Like, like things is kind of cool. Things is cool. Not kind of cool. It's cool. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, that's what I would say a successful relationship. Where you ain't got to, you can be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got to, you know, scratch your tummy, you know, or you got to, you know, whatever it's all right, you know? Like, you could just be yourself. You ain't got to, like, front and just be something that you're not. You know what I mean? That's why. I, and then just the energy is right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I would call a successful relationship. Like, yeah. And a way to do that is, just like you were saying to yourself, in my opinion, is just you got to have that relationship with yourself. You know what I mean? agree. You gotta have that with yourself because that's the most important relationship that we're we're going to have. You know? Yeah, and I believe you also have to be ready to let a man lead. Mm. I think that was a struggle that I had mm. because I, you know, being the female that I am in a career field that's very male driven, mm-hmm. it's. It's hard for a man to let you lead because you're so used to like, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. And then you're in a relationship with a real male male. Okay. What's a male male? Like, like he's Rick, Rick Ross type. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to look like Rick Ross, but it's that whole aura. It's just very like. I will go catch the food yeah. and you stay here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
No, and I, I mean that in like a very, you know, not not literally, but in a way that you have to be able to like compromise and like let a man lead you and yeah. guide you. And that being said, that it has to be in the right direction. Yeah. Obviously, if this man is not guiding you in the right direction yeah. and you, you feel like it's wrong, it probably is. Well, I ideally like your, you know, your natural woman instincts kick in. Yeah. Like, yo, this dude's like, a, you know, like he's a bum bum. You know what I mean? I can't really, you know. He you is know, a like, bum bum, but <laughs> um, sometimes we're not ready for that. Yet, yeah. You know? Yo, it's a process, yo. It is. It's a process. It's like, yo, like, okay. Like, do you know, I, I once learned the difference, you know, there's males and then mm -hmm. there's man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, we have, there's a lot of males. You know what I mean? Like, a male is like, okay, yeah, you may look like, you know, you have all the male features. You know what I mean? You got a beard. You know what I mean? You may have a job. You may be earning an income. But, you know, like, you're a male. You know what I mean? You may have a penis. You know what I mean? You have a Me. danky. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a danky. Right? You have a danky. Right? But that doesn't make you a man. Yeah. You know what makes you a man? Tell me. What makes you a man is understanding your position. Okay. You know what I mean? Understanding your position. Like, yo, for the longest time, I was not a man, yo. Mm. I was actually on some boy shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I was on some boy. And I could, you know, I could admit that. And because I think every male go through that process of, like, just learning themselves. Learning how they deal with, with certain things. And just... It's a process, yo, where it's like it doesn't come with your age. It comes with, like, your experiences that you've had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that goes for females as well, though. Yeah. Like, just how you were saying, like, you were a boy. Like, I think that I was a girl mm -hmm. at one point, and I didn't know how to... I'm not saying I've mastered it by all means. Yeah. I'm still learning, but the way that I reacted to things and the way that I handled things is not ideally how I would now. Yeah, me too. That's a good. That's you know, a good. and even the people I attract. Right. You know, like I would never. Sometimes I think. I mean, I don't really think about them like that. But like, if I look back on the people that I may have dated in the past, I'm like, damn. Really? I was really young. Yeah. So let me ask you this: Do you think? Do you think you attract what you are? Hundred percent. Like, if you ever felt like you were in a dark space in your life, and you were with somebody that wasn't motivating you. Or empowering you, they was probably in a dark space too. And you guys attract. Yeah. Right? Damn. And, and sometimes you have to get out of that yeah. to realize and be that third person who's standing outside of the circle and really look back in, and you're like, "Wow, I never interpreted it that way." Mm. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So that's why the most important relationship that you're ever really going to have mm -hmm. is with yourself. With yourself. And really just focusing on what makes you happy, whatever that could be. It could be literally anything. Yeah. But it's just empowering yourself and being okay to be alone. You know that you were talking about that alone shit? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Like you need to have some time to yourself, figure out what you want, figure out what makes you happy, and being content with being alone. Yeah. Because we are so complacent in being in a relationship. Well, women or men? Women, men. Really? I think we get comfortable and we're like, we need that like attachment to somebody. Yeah. And instead of like losing that because you know that's wrong for you, mm -hmm. you just hold on to it. That's true, yo. That's true. Because, yo, know, honestly, a lot of times like we get we get into a relationship because I feel like, yo, sometimes that's the, that might be like the thing for us to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yo, okay. I just got out of whatever, whatever, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm supposed to be in a relationship, you know what I mean? Or for guys, right, like, it might just be, you know, you have at-home vagina, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, it, is this, that something you can buy from Amazon? No, it's not something you can buy from Amazon. <laughs> what? Yo, I'm saying, I'm telling you. What does that mean? Is, so, at-home vagina is like, okay, right? At home vagina is like, yo, you. This is your. This is your girl. You and your girl move in together. You ain't really gotta go out and chase. You ain't gotta go out and get anything because you know you got it at home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is the worst thing that a male could ever do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, right, you haven't really mastered yourself yet. You know what I mean? So when you're living with somebody and you're like constantly seeing them, right? It's like, it's like, damn, yo, like. 
just a little certain things start irking you, you know what I mean? A little, it, vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you haven't really, you haven't learned how to really get over that. So how do you stay in a marriage then, if that's how you feel? So, you, you want to know my real, so I really think marriages should have like, like, um, you know how like we lease cars? I don't lease cars. Okay, I, I okay. If you ever lease a car, it's like a <laughs> four year. Uh, it's like a three year lease. Okay. Right or like a four year lease. Right. Right. Honestly, marriages should really be like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because like, okay, you know, after okay, we done our three years. You know what I mean? Like, yo, is this something that we want to continue on doing? You know what I'm saying? We come back. Is this something that we want to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because look, look, right? Let's look at facts. Let's look at facts. Let's not go in emotions right now. Let's look at facts, right? And facts say, I think I wrote it down. Hold on, hold on. Right? Facts say 53%. 53% of marriages in the United States end in divorce, along with 48% in Canada, 47% in the United Kingdom, and 43% in Australia so what so 53 percent that's a high percentage that's like yo I'm going on that's like yo if, if I told you like yo you have to get on this flight right here there's a 53 percent chance that yeah right that you might not make it <laughs> would you get on that flight or would you be like damn but what if I have to get to my destination that was deep. I know. That was a lot deeper. That was a lot deeper than you thought. That was deep. Nah, that was that was deep. You know what I mean? But yo, but this is what I'm. This is what I mean. Though when we're talking about like, you know, having a successful relationship in 2022, right? Yeah. But then also in marriages as well too. A lot of people is not staying together. You know They're what I mean? Not, yeah. Like, why is that? Why Social is that important? Would you say? I think social media. Social media? I think social media, internet, music. The environment is different. It's very, like, sexual. Do you think that's just in black culture? No. It's just yeah, in today's it's, culture? Yeah, in every culture. In every culture? Yeah. Really? I think so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not every, but the few cultures I know. Okay. I would say. So, it's just like the... It's like the, um, just... The aura. Yeah. I feel like everything is so sexual. Yeah, it is. Like. Yeah. Music. Like, I'm looking at this video right now. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, she's showing me her eyes, but we know what that, what she really wants. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's true, yo. That's true. Everything is, everything is sexual, yo. Everything, everything. that, everything it is. And for, for the longest, I say. Let's say if you're like a young man, right? You know, you're in high school. And, yo, a lot of times, right? A lot of times we haven't learned to master our sexual nature right. as male. I can, I've never been a female. I can only talk about, like, you know, being a man. You know, like, a lot of times we have not learned to master it. You know what I mean? So every time that we're seeing something, we're seeing sex. We might see some tatas right there. Oh, look at that right. booty right here. Damn, she wearing them spandex right here. She looking good, boy. Brother. Yo, look at this video right over here. See, she's shaking it. You know what I mean? So oh, you don't think that creates temptation for like a um, relationship? For a relationship? Yeah. I, yo, it does. Right. It does. How about if the married man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That does create a lot of temptation. You know what I mean? Especially, right? Especially if you're a married man and you're a good looking married man and you got status, you got money. Like, yo, the amount of temptation that's coming towards your way mm -hmm. is bananas. Yeah. Do okay. women ever think about that? Like, about, like, you know, the perspective of a man like that? I mean, I would think so. So would you give him a pass? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean like okay, all right. So what let's a pass is like all right. Your your husband, you're married. Oh snaps, my fault. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. So you're married, okay. right? You're married. Your man, he's doing his thing. He's taking care of the home. You know what I mean? You're happy. You know you're you're like yo. You know, um, 
hey babe um i was thinking about uh you know do you think like i could have somebody else in this like you know like maybe join the bedroom or something like if that well not saying that, that that's if that's something that maybe you might want to do or maybe he's interested in doing what it if personally. i want to do wouldn't i bring it Okay, if you pick the girl, if you pick the girl, that would be a good thing though. That would be no, but if that's not what I want to do. Yeah, but if that was something that you okay. would want to do, right. but yeah, would would that be, would that be like something that, that, not saying that you're open to, right? Uh-huh. But the fact that like yo, that, would you bring that towards you know your husband? You know what I'm saying? Like, would you would you would you would you do that? I don't know. Like, I want to say yes and no, but, like, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing no. Yeah. You know? (laughs) Yo, honestly, yo, it's a lot, yo. Yeah, yeah. it's, like, there's too many things that you just don't want. Yeah. With that. And it's, like, dang, what what if she better, though? (laughs) You know? (laughs) Like, I don't, and then what if that's what your man wants now? Really? So what, not saying that, like, that would be the issue, but, like, I just, I'm not sure. Yeah. I feel like you have to be in a place in your marriage or relationship where you're so content and so, like, confident in that. Yeah. That you're really ready to do that. No, I agree. And really trust that man. Yeah. Because if you have, like, you know, some trust issues there, then you probably wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. But if you really trust your man, then... Yeah. How does how does somebody earn like trust, you know what I mean, and build that relationship? How does they how do they I think for every for everybody it's different. Yeah. But I think a good character well, I'm talking to Dr. Ange right now. We wanna know about right. Ange, you know what I mean? What what you know, what makes you trust the person that you're with, you know what I mean? First, it's like what they're doing with their lives. Yeah. Like seeing their drive. Mm. Like, do they trust themselves? That's true. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you just kind of pick up on, like, the attitude of somebody and, yeah. like, their energies and the way that they treat you. And I always say that, like, you really see how a man is, like, when they get mad. Yeah. You know? So, like, how do they deal with that? Mm. And I feel like it's like a series of things. Like, I don't feel like this trust happens overnight. Yeah. It takes time and you see it in different aspects. That is true. Yeah. That was one of that was one of the questions that I had written down. It's just like, yeah. um, what type of person, you know what I mean, shows up with you in your relationship? You know what I mean? Like, because, you know, we all have, let's say we have friends, right? Certain friends bring out certain certain you know characteristics out of us you know what i'm saying but then also that could be your partner as well too Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so like is that does your does your better half like or your other half i should say like when they're angry do do, when they speak to you does that bring like rage out of you or does that make you angry or does that put you down you know what i mean or does that like or does the way that he or she talks to you does it you know it's like even if she's correcting me or she might have, like, you know, a problem, mm-hmm. it's like she say it in a way where it's like, all right, I kind of understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like, does that, you know, does that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see what that? you're saying, but I think that they're all in, like, different situations. Like, mm-hmm. there could be a situation where, like, whatever, you know, your man is saying might m- make you feel a type of way. Mm-hmm. Then there could be another in where my blood is boiling. Then there could be another one where I feel sad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like these are all different different situations. Yeah. <laughs> but. But overall, when somebody is talking to you, right? Yeah. Because that's communication. Yeah. Right? It's like, my objection is not to make you feel some type yeah. of way. It's like, yo, I could have something to say to you, right? I could be like, and I could be angry, but my voice is calm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could be really pissed off, but I'm not like... And I think it's what you say, like cursing words. I don't, I don't move very well. Yeah, you know, and it's like how you speak to somebody. Like, I literally cannot tell you a time that I've cursed out a man. No, no, never gave him the f bomb. I'm maybe like a long time ago. Yeah, maybe, like for real. 
like thinking about it now. Like, I really don't think so because I just... Reaching that level where you talk to a man like that, mm. especially your man, there's no respect. Mm. That is there's true. absolutely no respect. Like, you should never talk to a man, talk to a friend, yeah. talk to anybody that's important in your life yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, I just don't speak to people like that. If I have something to say, don't get it twisted. I'm still going to convey what I need to say. Yeah. But it's the way you do it. All right. Because how else are you going to get your point across? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Yeah. That's so true. Yo, you know, like, that is true, yo. And I think that comes from, you know, experiences. You know what I mean? Your experience, sometimes you know, like, yo, I'm not going to go about it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to go about it this way right over here, you know? Um, because. Yeah. It's just about the results. Yeah. <laughs> what results are you going to get? You know what I'm saying? If yeah. I want you to do something for me. And it's like, yo, I'm gonna come at you like, I think, I think, yeah. it's like, hey, you're not gonna do that. You're like, man, Jesus, let's get out of here. You know what I mean? But if I'm like, hey, you know, whoop de boop, 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 you yeah. know, and I say it in that certain manner, then of course you're gonna be like, you know, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for him. So if you're just joining us, right, um, this is our first broadcast of Talk to Him. All right, and where we have the lovely, the beautiful, the talented Dr. Angie in the studio with us today, and we're talking about how to have a successful relationship in 2022. All right, and we've discovered the first real relationship that we really got to have is with yourself. Right here, right? folks. Right in here, you know what I mean? <laughs> because if you don't have that relationship with yourself, then it's going to portray onto others. What do you think is a key thing in a relationship to have in 2022? The key thing? Yeah. If you could pick, if you had one word of advice, what word would you give to have a successful relationship? I would say, know yourself. That's two words. Okay, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's for one. <laughs> yo, I would say, um, yo, being, I would say discipline. Discipline. Mm. You know what I mean? Discipline, yo. Being disciplined, being disciplined in your in your um actions you know what i mean and loving yourself you know what i mean because the first person that i think you gotta love is you gotta love you you know and we're not just talking on here like yo we've made i know i've made some mistakes i've done yeah you too you no know I mean? no okay I i'm have. just kidding you know what i'm saying i've done some mistakes so i'm not like up here like i'm on a high horse and i'm talking about like, but yo. your mistakes made you who you are that is true right. that is absolutely true y'all that is absolutely true do you really call them a mistake then i wouldn't say mistakes i'd say yeah. actions from the past that i've learned from mm. so that's true you can't you can't call them mistakes mm -hmm. you know what i mean but certain actions from the past that you like yo i, I have I, a lot of actions from the past that yeah. i don't want to see in my future yeah. and in my peripherals <laughs> So look, let me ask you this, right? Let me ask you this. What are the three Im most important things in a relationship for you? Um, like, just based, like, not character traits or just, like, as a whole? As a whole. You know what I mean? What are the three most important things in a relationship? Because we're talking about how to have a successful relationship in 2022. Okay. So what are the, the three most important things in a relationship for you? Mindset. That's one. Mm -hmm. And when I mean mindset, I mean like growth, um, self-healing. Like, there's so many people that don't care about that. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's two people in this world. Yeah. There's the people who want to be better. Yeah. And there's the people who don't care. That is true. You know? Yeah. And personally for me, yeah. I need to be with somebody who focuses on their mindset and that growth and wanting to you know be better within themselves it doesn't really matter exteriorly yeah. because i feel like naturally that happens mm -hmm. you know yeah 
Yo, the fact that you say, like, yo, to want to do this, two type of people in the world to want to do better. Yo, because, yo, I, I run into these people in my work. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, in what, because, you know, being in financial services, yo, it's like, yo, you meet, you do meet two kind of people, yo. You meet the type of people that, like, yo, okay, I know I got to get this done. I need to protect my fam. I need to make sure, you know, just in case something happens, you know, I'm protected. Right. Protect my, you know, like my retirement, have, make sure I have some type of money when I'm. And then there's other people who just don't, they're like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, and they, they won't say they don't care, but. Their actions, yo. Their actions is like, yeah, yo. It's whatever, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's whatever, you know. And yo, that is true. You know what I mean. So, all right. So you said self improvement. Yeah, it all kind of falls under the whole thing of mindset. Mindset. I think mindset is key. Yeah. Um. The thing is, I feel like mindset kind of like goes into like a whole bunch of other branches. Because your mindset will also leave, lead you to whatever career path, mm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, obviously, I, I would like a man with, with a job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can't be out here. Can't be that'd a bum That would be, be kind of nice. You know? Yeah. You know? And it doesn't really matter what you do. I mean, it has to be respectable. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> so, not no male stripper? There's nothing wrong with a male stripper. Yeah. I was thinking more like... You know, illegal activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you be know? out here. Yo, you're going to get caught. Yeah. All right? No illegal activities, man. You're going to get really, caught. It's just like. I don't really care for the illegal activities. Yeah. I'm not here for that. Yeah, and now also, you put other people's life at risk. Yeah. As well too. You know, I'm working very hard. Right. So, like, why would I want to be with somebody like that? Um, no discredit. To the homies in the streets. <laughs> no discredit. All right? y'all, y'all do your thing. Y'all do your thing. We're not here to <laughs> knock on anybody. You know me or hate on anybody. But uh, but yeah, don't don't check me. And yo, we got a couple <laughs> people that's checking us out. Oh, what up? What up? What up? Yeah. So, um, I agree with that, yo. One hundred and ten percent. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this. Mm. What 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 do you think a woman? wants in a man stability stability that's the biggest thing oh did you feel that I felt that, that just came like right out of my soul yeah <laughs> stability stable gotta yeah be stable. financially stable financially stable mentally stable psychologically stable mm-hmm. socially stable what's socially stable i don't know i'm just listing a bunch of things at yeah. this point but yeah. i do agree with it yeah i, I know your social circles yeah like you need to be people that have like millions of friends yeah. and that's really all their friends yeah. like they got like 15 homies yeah but are your close homies like yo i i have a lot of friends right. but would i say that all of them are close friends no mm. you know so yeah that's what i meant by socially and mainly stability so, like Stable. Gotta be yeah. stable. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Because why would you want to be on, like, a seesaw that's one-sided? It's horrible. Yeah. Because, yo, but then that goes back to the relationship that you have with yourself, yo. Yeah. Because a lot of times you're battling with yourself, you know what I mean? You're, there's certain things that you may not be comfortable with yourself yep. about. You know what I mean? So that's going to, you're going to really be unstable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're really going to be unstable. Um, yeah, that's, that, yeah that's, that's a good one. You know, do you want to know what a man wants? Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, tell us. Huh? You, you really want to know? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to All know. Right. Let's tell me. I think what every man wants in a, in, a, in a woman, especially if you're a man of, you know, you're you're a hardworking man. You're a man of character. You move in a certain way. You ain't not. You're not on some. You know. You you know the the, the, the BS that we do, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you actually on your purpose. You know what I mean? You on your grind. You on your hustle. You working. Mm-hmm. You providing for your fam. You know what he wants? What? He wants shut up in this. Right? Excuse me. Yo, like like yeah, yo, like being able to like be a good listener. Oh, okay. Yes, like, you know. You said shut up. Shut up in this. Like, shut up in this is like a term of like, like, if I'm speaking, you're not speaking like over me. You know what I mean? Because now that turns into like, 
it turns into like yo like a discussion you know what i mean it turns into it's just like yo okay what having an understanding of like yo what is he really what is he saying to me you know what i mean without like feeling like oh i gotta i gotta i gotta protect myself or i gotta listen to what he's saying but i'm li not listening to really understand i'm listening to reply that's true you know what i'm saying to reply like it's like yo you yo I agree. That is like... But I think that also has to be mutual. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. That's that's why the most important relationship that you got to have in 2022 is is really with yourself. With yourself. It's really with yourself. You and know what I mean? if you're a spiritual person, with God. God first. I agree. You know? You know what I mean? But God's within you. And he's everywhere. Omnipresent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I used to say all the time when I didn't want to go to the temple. Yeah. And God is omnipresent. <laughs> I don't need to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, yeah, that was one of the things, too, that we was talking about is mm -hmm. that, you know, when we when we said that, um, what was it again we were talking about? I think we mentioned, uh, you know, what when you're communicating with your partner, mm -hmm. right? What emotion does that bring out of you? You know what I mean? So does your partner's communication with you, does it lift you up or does it, you know, like, like yeah. you know, put you down? You I feel like mean? it depends on what type of space that you're in. But, like, you know, as we're speaking about it, I think back, like, in situations where I wasn't happy in my relationship, when my partner did say things to me, mm. I didn't, like, really get it. Because no. I didn't... I wasn't happy in the relationship, mm. you know, so I wasn't really respecting it and nor listening, really. But when you're in a position where you're in a relationship, oh, that was really loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> I don't know if everybody heard that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you can take me out or what? Yo, yo, I'll take y'all. Let's go to this Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A? That's what you taking girls to? What's up with Chick Fil A? First, first of all, there's nothing wrong with Chick Fil A, but like, aren't you gonna take me like to a nicer place? Why not? What's wrong with Chick Fil A? Nah. All right, folks. This is what's this is what's on the market apparently. Yo, listen, Chick Fil A, <laughs> Chick Fil A, what? That crispy chicken, boy. Yo. And you can even, you know, you, you can get a shake. You know what I mean? Or some, yeah. or what's that called? That lemon iced tea? Mm. That's pretty bomb too at Chick-fil-A. Mm. That's pretty bomb. Yeah. You, don't sound, you, don't sound like, you don't look like you're too happy about Chick-fil-A. I Chick -fil -A. mean, Chick-fil-A is cool. Like, that's really cool. But if that's where I went on my first date. Yeah. Chick-fil-A? Yeah, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it, but there's so much wrong with it. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just like that's not where you want to go for your first date unless you went to like a ball game But even then like take me out to a nice place. Why chick-fil-a glyph? So there's levels. I think there's levels to men. Yeah, I think honestly Like okay, why are you acting like you don't take a woman out to a nice place? Yo, she gotta earn it though. Yeah, I know but like she, I'm not just gonna take her out to a nice place because she's a she's a woman and she got titties and she got booty she's Like no, you know what I'm saying? You have to earn this. You know what I'm saying? You have to earn a nice place So you know what? There's levels um, I might take you out to a nice little place at Wind called Wind Days, okay? Then is that like a Boston reference? Wind Days? Yeah. Oh, when, when, oh <laughs> when <did you>? when <laughs> Say something else. Yeah, when days, right? When so, okay. days. When days. Ain't no A. When days, all right? Then everything goes well at when days, all right? Then we graduate to Chick fil A. You know? Chick fil A. All right? You're then. You're talking shit. Oh. I am talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> but. I know for a fact you have not taken <laughs> And the first couple of dates to Wendy's and Chick Fil A. Yo, honestly, like, don't ask how I know that. Honestly, how you know that? You try, <laughs> what's up? You trying to you trying to take me out on a date? How many uh, Chick Fil A sauces gonna be? Yo, and a Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> yeah, they only give you two. Yo, <laughs> and a Chick Fil A. Sauce. You gonna give me extra or what? Extra Chick Fil A <laughs> sauce. You know, so, um, I forgot where we was at, y'all. I was gonna ask you a question too, right? 
Uh, man, I was going to ask you a question about, oh, all right, is it okay, in your opinion, on a first date, right? Mm -hmm. Who should pay you? A man. A man should pay? Yeah. Because you want to give this man this this whole title of he's going to lead the household and he's going to pay the bills. Might as well catch dinner. That's true. But needless to say, I feel like within the relationship time, like there'll be, I feel like I've paid in my relationship, mm -hmm. you know, here and there. Yeah. Just, you know, like appreciate you. Like mm -hmm. you don't want the man to like always be paying for everything. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Like just like little things here and there. You kind of. You know, oh, I get ice cream. What about friends, right? What yeah. about friends? Like, you know what I hate? I hate going out in groups. Yeah, me too. Like groups of oh, like no. groups of like five, six, mm -hmm. ten groups. I be like, yo, I get, I don't know, I get anxious a little bit. Like, I be like, damn, yo, I be like, yo, separate checks, please. You know what I mean? Let's get separate checks. Unless if. You know, if it's the dinner that I invite folks and I might, you know, I might ball mm -hmm. out a little bit. You know, be like, yo, I'm going to pay for everybody's food. You yeah. know what I mean? At Chick-fil-A, right? <laughs> but, but So you're inviting all your friends. Yo, what's Chick wrong with Chick-fil-A? First of all, that's going to be expensive. Okay, but it's going to be a little bit less expensive yeah. than if I was to take you to some five-star restaurant or something like that, you know? Yeah. So, how about those friends, right? Yeah. Who sometimes, like, let's say... Like, yo, it's like when you go out in like a big group mm -hmm. and it's a big group, right? And then you'll say, you know, you're not really that hungry. So you might get some appetizers or something like that. And then, mm -hmm. you know, other people that surround, they might get like, you yeah. know. Lobster. Lobster, yeah. lobster mac, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like all these crazy things. Then the bill comes and it's like, yo, you got to, you basically got maybe like $20 worth of stuff, right? But then you might have to add like a hundred. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I hate that, yo. I just hate, I don't like. I groups. just don't get it though. Why would you split the bill in that case? Like, if I know that I'm about to split the bill with 15 other people, yeah. I'm about to eat nice. <laughs> like, what? It makes no sense. Like, yeah. there should be like a. Like a, you know, heads up for those sort of yeah. things, I think, personally. Because yeah. that's not fair. What if I got, like, a little salad? Yeah. Karan said facts. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, I really, I really hate, I, I get real anxious when I'm in, like, big groups and we got to eat. Yeah. I be like, yo, yo, man, like. For real. Yo. <laughs> I don't have many, like, groups like that. For real. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just. I think it's just something that, you know, it's just mm -hmm. like, yo, to the max. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's two. Two people, the max. That's it, yo. Me and you. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. You know, me and you. That's it. Everybody else, yo. It's a big group. Yo, single checks, please. Oh. All right? Single checks. Because, yo, it's just, it becomes like a big, because now you really get to find out who your bum bum friends are. Yeah. On a low. Like, you yeah. really get to find out, like, yo, if the person comes in and they know the check is coming, like, yo, I got to, uh, yo, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. He's a bum bum. Okay. <laughs> He's a yeah. bum bum. You know? Like, yo. And this is all about leveling up in 2022. Yep. Honestly, we know we have fun with this conversation. But honestly, we if you really think about the people that you have around you, your circle of friends... Right? Mm -hmm. That's either going to lead you towards success, right? Or it's going to lead you towards failure, mm -hmm. right? Why are you moving places? I don't know. You just, I kind of looked at the camera and I saw you had all this like lighting on you and well, I was like, you know, dang. I got the light. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, you know, we got the light. You know? I can have the light too. No, you can't have the light. Yes, I can. You can't have the light. You the know? light can be shared equally and distributed. Okay. On a. <laughs> you know, like, on that service, oh, yes. You know what I mean? But on an esoteric level, right, the male always have the light. You know what I mean? That's why women women go crazy for a male's light. They want the, the light. That's why they want attention. You know what I'm saying? They need your attention. Yeah, you attention's know? nice. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, sometimes you just don't care. Like, you're not looking for it anymore. I think you look for it when you're younger, but like, more so. 
But when you get older, you just kind of like, hmm. uh, you can get it. You can not, but depends on the type of man that's really giving you that attention, though. Right. That's true. That's, you that, know? Is, that is true. Yeah. That is true. I agree. Like yeah. if Michael B. Jordan was walking by and he was like, hey, you, yeah. <laughs> but is, is okay. Is he because he's Michael B. Jordan, the actor? And, you know, he's, he's, or is he, yeah. because if he was not Michael B. Jordan, if he was Michael B. Jordan, like, you know, working at, I don't know, Chipotle restaurant or, you know, working at a regular nine to five, you know? I mean, let's be real. Of course, his career puts him at a different standard. Right. That's your status, I guess you could say, right? So it makes you a little bit more attractive because you know, like, oh, he could he could really take care of me, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> but that doesn't mean he's not good looking. He's still very good looking, yeah, yeah. you know? But I see what you mean. That's what I'm saying. Though. Michael, if you're listening... <laughs> Lori's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, folks, I had fun, man. We had a good time. I had a good time you too. Know me? Um, once again, this was our first, uh, you know, live episode of yeah. Talk to Him. You know what I mean? The lovely, beautiful Angie came through and blessed us. Um, Thank you for having me. Yo, I appreciate you pulling and up. And I wanted to tell you that I'm very proud of you. Yo, appreciate that, Phil. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that. for real, yeah. look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, we're in a whole other setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, know. you deserve this. Appreciate that. Yo, appreciate that. Appreciate that. And we're, this is all about leveling up in 2022. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the way that we level up and the way that we get to that next level in our life is really... Who do we have around us? What are the people that we have around us? Are they adding value? Mm-hmm. Our relationships. You know what I mean? Whether it's, you know, our friendships that we have, whether it's our business relationship, whether it's, you know, our our boot thing, you know what I mean? Our, you know, romantic relationship. Is that adding value value towards your boot thing? Your boot thing. You your know? girl. Your girl. Your woman. Your boo. Your, your boot thing. Your boot thing. You know what I mean? It's not so your boot thing. I don't know, yo. It's you not know? like you know, it's not like a music video. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, yeah. <laughs> Yo, well, hold on. My man said, my man Karan said, got to go with the right group of people. When we go out, Bill is never worried. That is true. That is true. I agree. I agree 110%. Yeah. Yo, why you got mad close to me? Yo, I just wanted to say what's up to all the fans. <laughs> yeah. Friends. Friends. Hi. What's up, folks? All right. So, I'm going to leave you with this quote. Right, because we talk about our relationships, we look for our mother in our lover, but our mm. mother could never be our lover, mm. cause our lover would never love us like our mother. Ooh, bars, bars. Does that apply to females or just males? This your main man, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Live, love, light. I'll holla. Peace. <laughs>